Sunday, Sunday, Sunday here at Summit Motorsports Park, Norwalk, Ohio. It is the NHRA Summit Racing Equipment Nationals. Nitro is already fired up an hour earlier than intended. This race day may very well be impacted by weather. In the top alcohol classes, first top alcohol dragster, when we look at those who got past round one of eliminations, well, it's no shock. The big hitters are still in the play for this race championship championships such as Julie Natus, Tony Stewart, Matt Cummings. By the way, Tony Stewart and Matt Cummings, they will actually face each other a battle of teammates in round two. Cummings is going to the second round. This car, driven by Tony Stewart, is going to the second round. They are both McPhillips rides, and Rich McPhillips on camera, as you see. Well, it's good to get both cars past the first round. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, We struggled in qualifying Matt's car a little bit. It shouldn't have been qualified where it was, and uh, we want our cars to meet up, but uh, not in second round. So, we uh, both, luckily, in first round, we got that one. Uh, Matt's tuned up a little bit better. So it's going to be a driver's race. We're going to do the same thing, make them both as fast as we can and let the drivers uh, handle it. Does it feel like it's already a better Norwalk compared to the regional? It was absolutely atrocious in round one. Uh, yeah, we, we had some issues uh, round one. Jasmine's car wasn't running up to snuff. She had a tough pull with Julie. Uh, Mike uh, Coughlin just, just uh, had some issues, and uh, yeah, it was uh, very unlikely. The McPhillips gang, they don't need no luck, but they'll take it. In Top Alcohol Funny Car, the big hitters, they are still in. In fact, Sean Bellamere getting past round one, and with his number one qualifying effort, he gets a bye into the semifinals. But we do have a major matchup. Points implications on the line, Matt Gill versus Doug Gordon. But an individual that certainly wants that points lead back that he earned at the Lone Star Nationals at the Texas Motorplex is Bob McCosh. for Bob McCosh. Last time we saw Bob, it was at the Texas Motorplex, and he was an event champion for a regional. Bob, since then, everyone else has gobbled up points, and they've gotten ahead of you in this chase for a championship, but you got them all here. Ready to take them out? Absolutely. Absolutely. A long time ago, a good friend of mine told me, if you want to be the best, you got to beat the best, and we're here to give them our best. We'll see what happens. I also want to make note in Top Alcohol Funny Car, Phil Ease is one of the two that were able from the bottom half to beat someone in the top half of the field. And it was a momentous win here at the NHRA Summit Racing Equipment Nationals. good because we really worked hard we had we broke a transmission in the run before that we blew motors up down here at Norwalk a couple weeks ago and we've been struggling really bad so this win for us is really good the crew's done a great job getting this thing ready to go you know we have a McKinney race car it works great Murph's helped us a lot I mean I got a tie drive I had Todd Dutterow help me Les Davenport's here Murph McKinney John Davis I have lots of people that's really helped us to get here and it's really really nice to finally get a, a round win at a national event this is my first round win ever at a national event 
Well, congratulations for that first win ever at a national event. It's tough out here in Top Alcohol Funny Car, and it's not getting any easier. No, it's, they, they play for keeps, that's for sure. <laughs> you got to have your stuff together if you're going to beat these guys. They're tough. This Top Alcohol Report brought to you by McKinney Court. I'm Lee Kraft, the Monday morning racer from Summit Motorsports Bar.